your host, Dan Rojas, and I get asked about five or ten times a week, how can I use a large Fresnel lens to heat my swimming pool? Now, I usually recommend that people get the black hose like we did with our carport. Use that because you don't really need to track the sun, and that works really well. The more hose you add, the more you're going to heat your pool. A lot of people really like the idea of maybe having a pool party, showing off to their friends. So, if you point one of these directly at your pool water, Nothing's gonna happen. Water's clear. Light's just gonna go all different directions. Also, because it's blocking your pool, you're not adding additional sunlight. Mirrors are a little different. You can redirect sunlight to the pool from other areas. A Fresnel lens, the area that I'm in right here, I'm in, I'm in the shade right now. It's taking all the sunlight and putting it to right there. So simply putting one of these over your pool is not gonna do anything at all. It's actually gonna, any light that it filters, is gonna reduce the amount of light that reaches your pool. So what you need to do is you need to have a copper looping system like I have right here. I've got a 12 volt pump that's running off of solar panels. It's pumping about a gallon, gallon and a half a minute. It's not real powerful, but it does work pretty good. And what you do is you put your focal point, you don't put it at the tightest spot. You make it a little bit larger. That way, A, you don't destroy your equipment. And B, you're putting water, you're putting the light over a larger area so you can transfer more water. So we have seven and a half, actually right at seven gallons of water inside of that tank. The starting temperature was 63 degrees. It's a real cool, it's probably the most beautiful day of the year that I've seen. It's about 58 degrees out right now, not a single cloud in the sky. So we're getting a really good result with this. Now I'm going to see how long it takes to heat up seven gallons of water with this setup. This Fresnel lens is a, this is a spot Fresnel lens. It's a little bit more than a square meter. We're going to slide this into the focal point. Slide it out. Slide it in. That's why you want to be really careful. You don't ever want to leave these off to do their own thing, really, because it's just uh, that's just ridiculous. So we're going to put this back. All right, so this doesn't seem like it's getting very hot, right? But I'm going to show you how effectively this thing is dissipating the heat and pulling it out. I'm going to kink the hose first. I'm going to splash a little water on there, and you can see it doesn't really steam up or anything like that. But if I kink this hose for the outlet hose and allow the water to just sit, you're going to watch what happens. This is in real time. So you can see how quickly that just sucks the heat right out. Now the heat's back down to not much. So you want to make sure you have a water flow in there. Because if you don't, let's try to get this where we can really see it. All right. So we've got that on there. And we've got the flow of water going through. Now I'm going to kink it again. That's just because the hose is kinked. And that's water that I sprinkled on there. You can see, now, it instantly stops once you let the water flow back through. So we've been, we've been at this for exactly 58 minutes. I'm gonna let it go for a full hour. Got two more minutes. Wow, that is really, that's hot to the touch. So seven gallons, we're probably at about six and a half now because this fell out and a little bit fell on the ground. Uh, wow, it's hot all the way down. We're going to spray some water on that. See, that's not really that hot. I mean, it's hot. You wouldn't want to touch it. But if I kink it, well, that heat builds up instantly. And we go off the charts and stuff. In fact, this water coming out of here ouch, is boiling hot. <laughs> So, all right, we're right at the hour mark. So 
So we were able to get seven gallons of water to increase the temperature from 63 degrees Fahrenheit up to about 106, 107 degrees. And it is a cool day out. That's not really insulated very well. So that just gives you an idea. Now, if you were gonna make a uh, water tank, like a water heater, one way you can do that is you take two of these units. You have one collecting the sun, you put the other one inside your tank. That's a heat exchanger. That's basically what it is. You can use different fluids in this. This seals really well, by the way. You just want to make sure you don't get the sunlight on the actual um, tubing because it'll destroy it. You also want to make sure that you don't let this get anywhere near wood or anything like that because you don't want that to happen. I personally think the hose idea for heating a swimming pool a lot easier. You don't have the fire hazard, you don't have the complex sun tracking, you don't have to deal with a lot of this stuff, but there are other applications for a Fresnel lens that, that um, can be done like this. This unit could be used to make flash steam if your water temperature coming in was hot enough. We're going to cover that in other videos. I just wanted to show you this concept. If you do want to heat water in a swimming pool or a water tank with the Fresnel lens, this is the way that you do it. This would be at a fixed focal point and it would track throughout the sun. It's better to be a little bit wider with the spot, not to be at the optimal focal point. Has done a video where he took Pyrex, painted it black, uh, put oil inside of it, and then put a copper heat exchanger in there and basically got the same results. That's actually, his design is actually a lot more efficient because the oil gets hot and heats the water all the way around. We're just heating one side of the copper tubing. It also acts as an insulating barrier. The link to his videos is right there. We're going to be building on that design in the future. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. Is that the water? 